My name is Robert Abbasi, and you're tuned in to another edition of Lectures from the Hood. Today's topic is brainwashing. The television and the media participates in destroying the minds of black people. How do they do that, Mr. Stone? Well, there's three ways that you can look at, and there's a lot of other issues, but the three main issues are, number one, trying to promote and push homosexuality in a subtle way to African Americans. It's getting so bad right now that in 50 years, um, being homosexual will be synonymous with being black. You know, and we can't have that. Somebody has to defend the culture, somebody has to defend our people, and somebody has to make babies. All right? Number two, double worshiping. Double worshiping is, is, is being so prevalent now in our music that it's almost, people starting to believe that it's okay. Um, even in TV, you got, you got Lucifer Lions on TV. You got the Lucifer show that's coming on Channel 29 soon about this guy who, who's a fantastic guy, wonderful, good looking, and he's the devil. Um, you got musicians that talk about 666 and all their songs. They make references to, to the devil in all their songs. And this is, um, again, uh, in 50 years, devil worship is going to be synonymous with black people. Again, when, when I talk about problems that we have, either we're going to deal with them or they're going to get out of hand and get worse. And right now, the way it looks... It's going to get worse. The homosexual issue and the double worshiper look like it's going to get worse. The third one, when you're looking at media, when you're evaluating what's being uh, uh, shown to you, look at the fact that you can't watch one black show without 100 black people being killed, in particular the black men. Some shows, five minutes into the show, they don't show you a homosexual scene. They don't show you five or six black people being killed. And some kind of worship to the devil. Or some type of reference to the devil. These are the images that are being, being given to us on a daily basis. And we have to stand up and fight against these images. We have to stop watching some of these images. And it's going to be hard. You know, uh, I like Empire. You know, but the, the whole show is about uh, black people hooking up with non-black people. You know, there's not one black couple in the whole show. You know, and there's homosexual scenes throughout every episode. So, you know, we have to deal with these three things. At one time, rap music was about black power. Rap mu music was about God. And now, it's something else. You know, it's about killing each other. It's about promoting conflict. It's about promoting who got who got beef with who. It's promoting... Um, destroying other people's careers. And that's not what rap was. My generation brought rap into existence, and that's not what we intended rap to be. Talking about the devil and devil worshiping, and, 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 and talking about uh, 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 goblins and 666 and demons, that's not what it's supposed to be. All the references to homosexuality is not what we intended rap to be. When my generation created rap. So the three things. If you're, having, if you're watching a TV show or movie. And you see excess violence towards black people. You never see black people killing white people. So when you start talking about. It's not racial. Everything's not racial. Why don't you see black people killing white people? Why don't you see black men. Marrying, dating. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 white women. On a more regular. Uh, or frequent basis. Outside of Empire, and there's only one couple, but outside of Empire, why don't you, why, why aren't there more references to God? You know, we're the most spiritual people on the planet, and that's being systematically taken away from us. That's our power. The most powerful people on the planet, and you heard me say this in other videos, are the spiritual people. And our spirituality is being taken away from us through media. Okay, we just had a president who went to Africa to try to push homosexuality on Africans. And they told them, we ain't having it. You know, they're using their money, 
to get Africans to accept homosexuality as a lifestyle. And I said, we, we ain't having it. I mean, this is Africa. This is home. We don't do that here at home. You know, the churches are now accept homosexuality because they receive faith-based faith uh, initiative money. And they have to accept homosexuality. Why is it so important for white folks to have black people accept homosexuality? You know, this is a part of their culture. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, the emphasis on the, on the man and, and son relationship as opposed to the whole family. As opposed to having a woman as an integral part of, of the family. They take the woman out. So, right now, when you evaluate shows, movies, uh, 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 media, uh, things that, that promote the killing of black people, things that promote homosexuality, things that promote the devil. I mean, come on, y'all. Double worshiping is not good. And um, no matter how you try to debate me, you can never convince me that double worshiping is a good thing. And the biggest problem is, is that this stuff, this media is not geared towards the adults. It's geared towards the children. Every woman I know has their little five-year-old boy watching Empire. And they believe the homosexuality is okay. You watch it, Mom. You say it's okay for me to watch it. You know, the people on the, and the homosexuals are the, most, are the coolest people on, on the shows. You know, so, you know, we're, we're, um, are we taking the next generation? You know, if we say we're against violence, but we, but we like to watch it on TV, uh, um, uh, every day. We say we're against, uh, promoting homosexuality among the children, but we have them watch that every day. If we say we're against double worshiping, but we like music that promotes it. So, we have to start practicing what we preach we got to get ourselves together, brothers and sisters, because they're taking us straight to hell. And we got to do something about it. I love y'all. Peace. What is going on?